What's up everyone, it's Trey here. Make sure you like and subscribe. Today we're gonna to be talking about journals and how they will change your life. And here's my journal, it's got my name signed on it. I write in it every single day. And a lot of people may say, isn't that just a diary? No, it's not a diary. It is actually the map and the blueprint that's going to change your life and allow you to get aligned with your dream life, right? And a lot of people say, you know, well, how do I live my dream life? How do I get that Lamborghini? How do I get that house in the hills? How do I travel and see all of Europe, all these different countries that I wanna to go to or live the life that I see so many influencers or all these people, you know, living or advertising, right? And it really comes down to figuring out what you want, right? Because what you want isn't necessarily what the next person wants, right? So you have to ask yourself questions. I see so many people alive. The biggest problem is they don't ask questions. They don't ask themselves questions. They don't ask questions about anything, right? A lot of people will walk around thinking they know everything and ever ask, where did I get that piece of information? Is that person a credible source? Where did they get that piece of information, right? Ask more questions, right? And you will get more answers. And be, you know, diligent on where you're getting your information from and take everything like a grain of salt and just add, you know, the data and the information that you're collecting and, you know, figure out what makes, you know, overall the most sense based off what you've seen and what you put together. But anyways, back to the journal, right? What should you be writing in your journal? How big of a journal should you get, right? I recommend like a basic one like this. Again, it's not too big. Um, also, make sure you get lined paper. Lined paper is very important to me. Uh, you can actually like, order a journal that doesn't have lined papers and I, I don't like that. It's not a drawing book, right? It's a book where you're gonna be writing down uh, a multitude of different stuff, uh, which I recommend. One being affirmations. So affirmations are critical uh, to remind yourself every single day what you're working towards, right? And affirming that and reprogramming your mind. So your mind is a tool. A lot of people need to understand this. Your mind is a tool, right? Your brain, you need to look at it as a computer or a software. As a computer and as a software, you can actually program it. And it's currently programmed in the wrong direction. So you have to reprogram your brain, right? And another thing too that I want to note is that I do not have scripts for any of these YouTube videos because I'm brand new to this. So this is all off the top of my head. So again, if I miss anything or go back on something, please forgive me. But uh, anyways, yeah, affirmation. So, you know, a lot of people may be asking, what is an affirmation, right? An affirmation is basically you repeating over and over again, repeatedly, right? Something that you want to do or want to be or want to accomplish in the past tense, right? And it already has been done, right? So for instance, you could say, I have a million dollars in my bank account. Or you could say, I attract money abundantly, easy, easily, and effortlessly, right? I have my dream girlfriend. She has blonde hair, blue eyes, whatever it is, right? You can get very powerful and you can really put anything in there whenever you want. I have a six pack. I have a black belt in jujitsu. I live in Los Angeles, California in my dream home. You can say whatever you want and it's nice to do this uh, in the morning because that's basically when you're most programmable and that actually dictates how the rest of your day is gonna go, right? If you conquer the morning, you win the day, right? It's very important that you do that. You get out of bed, you hit that alarm, you know, take your cold shower, wake your butt up and get down, write down your affirmations, review your goals. Very important to review your goals, right? On top of affirmations. So doing your affirmation isn't enough for me. If you have a uh, vision board, basically what a vision board is, is when you print out uh, everything that you want in life, right? And these images are representations of that, right? So uh, from the spiritual aspect of things, you could have a picture of the Ten Commandments to remind you where you're uh, aligned morally and ethically, right? So when you go through the uh, the pain of the day and all the challenges that you face, you know, you remind yourself, let it go, be this person, be loving, be kind, be forgiving, right? Which is ultimately the most important thing in life, right? Uh, and the golden rule, why the trailer is how you want to be treated. So again, you could print out that golden rule. Then you could print out, you know, a private jet. If you want to go, you know, fly around private jets and travel the world, you could print out pictures of Italy, uh, Greece, um, you know, China, wherever, you know, you want to go, right? It's up to you. And then of course, I mean, it could go all the way towards money, businesses, real estate, anything you want, right? And you just got laid out and it's nice to see it visually every single day. So review your goals. And that can also be a whiteboard where you write down all of your goals, right? I would, you know, definitely recommend to prioritize them, right? So number one, you know, let's just say make a hundred K a month. And then the next thing could be, um, you know, move to Miami, Florida, 
They can write down all these goals and health goals as well, you know, to weigh, let's just say, 175 pounds and be this percentage body fat and be this percentage muscle, right? Lay it all down for yourself. Write down your affirmations. You should be doing this right in the morning. And, you know, how many a, a page full is, is fine. Um, obviously, you should spend more time implementing than just writing down and saying, I am this, I am this. I, it, it definitely helps in the reprogramming of your brain and to get you aligned with the goals or remind yourself what you need to do today to get close to those goals, right? The next thing is you need to review your map of the day, right? So every single night you should plan out the next day. Uh, so basically you should say 6 a.m. I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna take a cold shower. And at 6.15, right, I'm going to read the Bible. And then from, you know, 6.15 to 6.45, that is what I'll be doing. 6.45, I will start my hardest task of the day, which is blank. That's gonna take, you know, an hour and a half. Then at that time, I will go to the gym and then I will get breakfast and, you know, eat a protein shake and list your entire day from A to Z like that. And that's how you be extremely time efficient. That's how you get the most out of your day and that's how you're most productive, right? So you should have already done that the night before. So you should, after you've done your affirmations and, you know, whatever's next, figure out, you know, what your plan is. What you need to do? Do you need to meet someone at a specific time? What do you need to get done before then? What is your business calling you to do? And if you're not at the point where you don't even know, you know, what you should be doing, you don't know how to make money yet, well, then spend a gap of time figuring out how to make money, research, you know, how could you be make money and then start focusing on generating income activities. So not only start focusing, you know, on how to gain more information, gain more knowledge, uh, you know, figure out what you're interested in, but also start implementing. Because the biggest thing with me and YouTube, right, I have that my first video that I'll be releasing that I probably already released, right, is about why have I been employing YouTube, what messed me up. It was procrastination, it was intimidation factor if I just kept absorbing information, learning, learning, learning. And I never could just commit to just sitting down and recording this video because I was almost embarrassed uh, of the bad quality that I'd be producing. I keep wanting a perfect first video for some reason. And I, I'm almost embarrassed as, you know, for people to see me start from the bottom and have to work my way up. But again, I have reminded myself that, you know, this is part of it and this is the fun part and this is the rewarding part, right? Of when I get to 10K subscribers and 100K plus subscribers and so forth. So again, the journey is the destination and a lot of sense, right? And I often see this as well. Uh, making money and becoming a millionaire or billionaire isn't necessarily about the money aspect of things. It's about the person you have to become in order to become a millionaire or billionaire, right? The people you have to meet, the experiences you have to go through, the knowledge you have to gain, the wisdom that you gain, right? And be able to gain all that and then help people uh, fulfill the same destiny, right? Or help people in life because again, money does solve a lot of issues. And I don't think that people should be slaves of money. People think, I think people should look at money as a tool and take advantage of that, right? So um, yeah, again, in your journal, write down your goals, review your goals, write down your affirmations, write down your plan for the next day. Um, and then as you gain more information, knowledge throughout the day, write it down. You're not gonna store all your thoughts in your head, right? And I'm not saying don't use Excel sheets, don't use Docs. If you're more comfortable doing computer stuff, do it, but also have a journal because it's very important uh, to write it down. It's, again, for me, it makes a huge difference for you, it may not. I'm telling you, it still will make a difference. I'm sure there's research studies on this that if you physically write something down, you're gonna remember it much easier than typing something, right? Um, and I'm not gonna you know, claim it 100% because I don't really have the time nor the team to actually pull it up and have the article right here to prove that point. But uh, in my experience, it's been like that for me and I'm sure uh, it's like that for a lot of people or most of society. But um, yeah, and then just write down everything, right? Uh, everything that you can. Don't feel like you need to keep everything on the inside, right? Take notes if you're on calls of prospects or clients or leads, write it down, review it. Cause then when you go back in for that close, you can review everything that you wrote down and then you can regurgitate that back to them. You know, realign with their pain points. Hey, you spaced out this, this is your problem. This is your problem, this is your problem. Here's a solution, right? And then that's gonna make your closing a lot easier just in general to keep tabs and people that you're networking with and put Joseph Rock. Joseph Rock is in real estate. He's a real estate developer. If I ever need, you know, someone in Connecticut that does real estate, Joseph Rock is versus contact, right? And to keep all tallies of all that in your journal is just essential um, and it helps a lot. And then if you want to take that information, put it into a more organized, more access accessible doc uh, onto your laptop, that's great as well, right? But uh, yeah, again, your journal will change your life. Realign, ask yourself questions, you know, 
who am I as a person? Where do you mind mor morally, ethically? And it really helps to create your future self, right? And so what I mean by that is, who is your superhero version of yourself, right? So for me, that may be, you know, a six pack. I may weigh a certain amount of weight. Uh, I may look a certain way. I may act a certain way. I may treat someone a certain way. I may, you know, have integrity that I don't go against that integrity no matter what, right? Stay true to my morals and my beliefs. And on top of that, I have, you know, a Ferrari. I have, you know, my dream garage. I have my house on the hills. I have eight kids. I have, you know, the beautiful, loving wife that I've always wanted that, you know, I'll grow old together with. And, you know, just everything laid out. And to ask yourself, not only that, you know, what you, who you are as a person, who your dream version is, so you can create that person, become that person, um, but also set deadlines for it, right? So by 18, or by 23 or by uh, 36 or by 54, you wanna be where? And if goals without deadlines are fantasies, so make sure you write that down and figure that out. And your journal is where you get, you're gonna do all this, right? And you're gonna have many, many journals and these are gonna be like time capsules for you. And this is gonna be so cool to look back on uh, throughout your journey. But again, a journal will change your life. And if you're not writing a journal, you're making a huge and crucial mistake. And no matter where you're at in life, you need to be doing that. Yeah, and also another thing too is uh, if you're reading books, right? Books are so important. Books will change your lives. One book can save you five years, right? And you can look at these books like authors and mentors, and it's very important to be reading books that are aligned with your goals as well, right? So I wouldn't necessarily waste time on a cooking book if cooking has to do nothing with your goals, right? You should be reading books that you enjoy. And that was a big pain point in college for me is that I was always being forced to read books I didn't want to read, but truly left the bad taste in my mouth uh, with books. But then once I went all in on entrepreneurship, I fell in love with books and really felt aligned with books um, because I realized that, you know, there's so much information, they're like little treasure chests and you can find all this different treasure um, in a book and you could find a mentor that you never normally could have, you know, had. Um, but you should be taking things out of these books, like, you know, vital pieces of information, putting that into your journal as well. That way your journal literally is the ultimate treasure chest, right? That you can wake up, look at it whenever, say what was in, you know, Think and Grow Rich, what was in the compound effect, whatever it was, right? Or the slide edge. And you could go in your journal and see that, right? Um, instead of having to go find another book, right? It could just be your one-stop shop for all your information, your affirmations, your meditations, uh, your visions, your goals, your planning, your network, your clients, your business, etc. right? But again, a journal will change your life. Get a journal. You don't have to have your name on it like mine. This is actually the first journal that I've had that's had that. And, this, and that's because it was a gift uh, for my sister for Christmas because it was one of the things that I really wanted. Uh, it was just more journals. And I love journals. So, um, yeah. And if you guys have any questions, just leave a comment um, and I'll respond to it. I'll get back to you guys. I'm going to try to be very engaging and help you guys out as if you were myself. And yeah, let's do this together. But I uh, appreciate you being here, appreciate you watching, and so excited on what we could grow and learn together and the impact that we can make on society. But until next time.